it, I'm disheartened in terms of how the news is being reported on a number yes. of levels. Yes. One, today, I woke up and they were talking about the stock prices. You know, mm-hmm. so it's like, well, in Japan, the stock market is going this way and that way. So it seemed like business was important. And I realized Japan has, a, you know, the second largest economy in the world. So I understand that there's, there's some, some significance. But we're still talking about people dying and all this other stuff. And I'm like, is it really business as usual? That's one thing that stood out. And then yeah. the other thing um, just seems to be the... Uh, sheer ignorance that comes across in terms of how people, um, you know, will immediately go to the distractions. I mean, right now we saw reports on the Today Show and they even said, let's take you away from this. And they started talking about the royal wedding. You know, and Charlie Sheen for the first couple of days. And, and, and then, you know, so I'm just wondering, you know, one, how do you see that? And do they put those type of distractions over in Japan as well? Well, um, well, as I mentioned, since the epicenter of the economy is relatively, the infrastructure is intact, they're basically trying to put this problem past them and say, okay, let's rebuild this country. We have to get back to work. If we stop work, our heart is actually going to stop beating. Um, uh, lest, you know, we actually get the poison that's going to come and it might, that might stop it too. So, so the, they really have the sense of urgency and pressure that we just can't stop working. So I, I don't really blame people for thinking that. And because that's what's especially been ingrained in Japan. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Or that's just the way it is? That is just the way it is. And again, it really all comes down to whether you actually believe this is a crisis. Okay. And, and then the government has handled it and the way, way the media has happened, handle it. It, it really shows that they 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 probably are trying the best on a personal level, but they never really took it seriously in trying to contain the problem. The other thing that I found to be interesting um, was last night on CNN, mm-hmm. um, Anderson Cooper and some of these other folks um, made this remark, and I, I was kind of bothered by it, where they were talking about how orderly and how nice the people were. Mm-hmm. And, and that seemed to be, that's something I think is a good thing. What I noticed, businesses were opening up and helping people um, mm-hmm. that were in need. Right. And, right. you know, having us been involved with the aftermath of Katrina and people mm-hmm. in the similarities for people who don't mm-hmm. know wasn't mm-hmm. so much the hurricane or in this case the earthquake but the mm-hmm. flooding you know that ravaged both countries mm-hmm. or you know the flooding mm-hmm. ravaged New Orleans the flooding is ravaging northern Japan but mm-hmm. what we found here in the US was when people were seeking higher ground our companies here hired Blackwater security to right. guard the hotels and keep people out Police departments in neighboring cities that were unaffected by the flood were shooting guns at people and telling them to turn back. Um, We had vigilantes in places like Algiers that were going out and shooting black folks that were coming out and trying to seek refuge in one of the few places in New Orleans that was dried. Um, mm-hmm. I saw that, and then I thought it was kind of ironic that they were like, well, look at how orderly they are. They're not looting or anything. And I just thought maybe what's your comments on that, you know, because you're familiar with both cultures, sure, so to sure. speak. Sure. Well, well, first of all, I don't. I didn't see what happened in Katrina firsthand, so I really wouldn't want to comment on what happened and or what the media chose to focus on there. But as far as Japan goes, it is it is actually remarkable how people are still orderly because they're basically accepting what went down already, and they're probably like, "Well, there's really nothing we can do but to keep building." Like a you know, we're we're, we're you know in front in front of Mother Nature, we're basically like ants, right? We get get our we get a whole colony crushed where we have to keep building. The, the moment the damage happened, we have to keep, we have to start rebuilding. Most definitely. So that's, a, that's you know, but it seems like the people have recognized the humanity in one another. Yes, yes. We, we have to look at the positive in, in all of this. Potentially, it is disastrous, but we actually may never get to the bottom of how many people actually got sick. 
thank God, it's, it's really not at a level where people are just going to be falling left and right unless you're at the site trying to contain it. So we, we really may never know the severity of it, but based on the data from Chernobyl and everything else, we know that this is nothing to be taken lightly. What about the food supply? And, you know, both, on, you know, seeing the farmland that was in northern Japan, um, that being, dis- well, look like being destroyed by the floods, but also with this nuclear fallout, will that impact the food supply? And should we be concerned about that? Yes, most definitely. And you just have to get a little bit scientific with that because some some um, radioactive materials, they do take about a month to actually get in your food as opposed to on your food. So you really have to study, like do not drink milk that was produced anywhere near the um, downwind uh, from the site. But um, above all, you really have to pick a side. Like which side are you going to be on? Are you going to be on the side that's always going to dismiss the the, uh, contamination that happens during normal operations, or are you really going to start looking at the health risk? Because potentially these reactors that have been operating trouble-free, they could, could have been contaminating the food supply the whole time. And you know the and that's that's real talk right there. And I don't and as you said, a lot of people have ignored that. With the number of reactors that we have here in the United States, they say that that there's 16 of them that have mm-hmm. been made with the same design as the ones over in Japan. Um, mm-hmm. What should should you know? What should what lesson should we learn immediately from what's happening now? Well, Davy. Um I mean, thank God we really haven't actively pursued building new um, facilities here since 1979. But you still have to realize that most of these uh, reactors are actually concentrated more or less in the east uh, side, northeast and the east coast of the United States. And people continue to get shipments of dairy from near these plants. There have been many studies done that these uh, product, dairy products actually are directed towards lower income areas and it's just terrible all around. If you, if you start looking, you will dig up a lot of dirt. That's real talk, and maybe maybe we need to start digging it up and changing really things think, for the better. I really think we should, yeah. It's really hard to get people to um, talk about that, but I do think this is an excellent opportunity for people in Japan and all over the world who are about to build more or basically choosing the wrong path. And we are actually seeing a lot of race concerns all over Europe and all over the world, and I really hope that people wake up this time. Because because it's, even if we choose to stop everything, it's something that we have to keep living with for hundreds of thousands of years. We can't, we can't just um, let it go away. That's the voice of Shingo, activist, rap artist out of Japan, breaking down the science behind the nuclear situation that is taking place in Japan, um, mm-hmm. something that he's well-versed in and is giving us a breakdown. And also, where can we see your website again? It's e. 22.com okay. and my rap name is uh, Shingo2 S-H-I-N-G-0-2 and just for all your listeners out there, you know, I, I was blessed to have this kind of an environment to learn because I went to UC Berkeley and everybody that's inspired me on the West Coast and everybody who's intelligent enough to care about the right things. And where can we find any of your music that addresses some of this? Um, gosh. Can we? There, is it there, still too late to get that mixtape? No, no, no. The the website called stoprokasho dot org is still up. Well, if you search Shingo two S H I N G zero two and Rokasho R O K K A S H O, I'm sure the website would come up, and I'm sure you can um, find uh, several of the mixes that we did and so many um, remixes that happened, including Kraftwerk and a lot of people chipped in from all over the world. Okay, we're going to try and rock some of those songs this afternoon. Shingo, we appreciate you taking time out this afternoon. Thank you so much. I'm actually going to be headed over to the Bay to talk to some more people so I can put out the right word to Japan. It's really a race against time right now. So, Hey, when you come up to the Bay, um, hit mm-hmm. us up so we can have you come into the studio live with us and okay, hang out sure. and update us, okay? okay. All well, right. We appreciate All right, be that. Be safe, y'all. Be safe.
Peace. Peace. This is Brother Africa Bambada. Godfather Hip Hop Coaching. One, two. Check this out. This is Chuck B. Public Enemy number one. And you read my lips, kid. The typical cat is sickest. If you don't believe me, check the wish list. Peace. This is Dennis and Kane. Representing for Hard Knock Radio. I was born with two tongues. Chicago. Typical cats. All of that. Yeah. Wake up the nation. We need 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 ventilation. A team to make a nation. Gather, gather up. Bottom of a nuclear reactor. Got a new affair that the cloud detectors. Shady tactics. All the other paid actors. Hard by like cactus. Black rain back to the day. Prove disastrous. We're putting our children at risk. They knew it. And that's what's called up the activists. We take some salutations. We give praise to the almighty. Knowledge from the ancient operating. Though some seek shelter with artificial station. Genetic mutation. The installation of a new plant But this plant is no ordinary plant No, no, well they don't yield a flower Or check green leaves Instead she showers daily in a deadly breeze Spread like a zodiac sign After Gemini The everyday workday folk like you and I With once believed in the promise of a garden Boy, Adam, girl, Eve of destruction Technology, system malfunction The angle is deep and the wheels will detection Who dare say they care about a safety As long as the food on the dinner plate tasty as we shall suffer the consequence Might as well enjoy the last cup of tea If you prefer the taste of metal in your mouth White blood cells on a ground of gold We'll call the scent Preemptive strike back across the cross It's guessing all depends which side you're on Whether you feel locked up or free to move on Confess it all depends which ride you're on Whether you see pitch black or a light to keep on it Come on, come on This is, this is how we put 90 Camps built on purpose of tax evasion Politicians swear by their shifty cranium Wicked wet dreams, pure forms of uranium Multiple platinum and rich plutonium In propaganda from a sponsored podium Who know it like what the sound of thunder Another folk part, irreversible blunder Thermal recording in a pressurized chamber Twig the heat, me you will see through you later Bombs get smarter while soldiers 